Iran's nuclear ambitions are, of course, a key concern for American foreign policy. And in the presidential election, we're taking a closer look at Iran in this week's America's Future segment. Tonight, Christians in that predominantly Muslim country estimates that their population vary from 79,000 to as high as 400,000. Correspondent Amy Kellogg reports Christianity has a long and storied tradition in Iran. This is probably what you think of when you think Iran, a country on the edge of the Middle East, an Islamic state. But there are ancient Christian centers here, like Orumia in the northwest reaches of Iran. Over 100 churches dot the area. You may not believe all the legends that come from here, but the history of the Christian minority is well documented and deep. They think there are no Christians here, but we are here. We're living here, we're fighting here, and we must stay here. St. Mary's, an Assyrian church, is the oldest existing church in Iran and one of the oldest in the world. People in Oromia believe that one of the three magi who visited the baby Jesus was buried on the site where this church was built in the first century A.D. Father Dadia Vosh shows us other important sites, historical as well as recent. Like this shrine where locals say an image of the Virgin Mary mysteriously appeared several years back. The place draws Christians as well as Muslims who revere Mary as a saint. Christians are free to worship in Iran, and the government helps them with the upkeep of their churches, but they can't try to convert anyone. Christian evangelicals here are sometimes arrested for proselytizing, and the penalty for converting from Islam to another religion in Iran can be death. Armenians are also part of Iran's Christian community. Here, the Archbishop of Oromia blesses a chapel that has just been rebuilt. It's a little bit difficult for uh, Christian people to live such a place as a Christian. But uh, we are happy to say that with all uh, sites, the Islamic Republic of Government, Islamic Government supports us. In fact, the government of Iran has asked UNESCO to make some of its churches World Heritage Sites. This Armenian church in a remote part of the country near the border with Turkey was one of those designated just last summer. It is dedicated and said to be built on the burial site of St. Jude, who was killed for converting 3,000 local Zoroastrians to Christianity in the first century A.D. Though proselytizing is illegal here, this shrine to one of the original Christian missionaries is a national treasure in the Islamic Republic of Iran. As Father Darya Vosh reads prayers in Aramaic, the language of Jesus Christ, he says his biggest concern for his shrinking community is that the rest of the world not forget their role in Christian history and legacy. In Oromia, Iran, Amy Kellogg, Fox.